So here we are in a boutique central London hotel, very posh. I thought this was your living room, Rebecca, but it's not. But here you are, Rebecca Addington, looking resplendent, fresh back from uh, the Commonwealth Games in Delhi with two more gold medals and two bronzes, let's not forget. Uh, well, not hanging around your neck, but somewhere. So you must be a happy bunny. Yeah, definitely. I was really, really pleased with how the week went. Like, going in, like, my first comedies, I didn't, like, even think about, like, what the outcome would be. And I kind of just knew where I had the four races. And obviously, the 800 was the main one that I wanted to go for. But to come away with a medal in each of them is just miles better than I expected, especially for the 200 as well. Like, I would never have put me in the top three going in. I think I was ranked fourth or fifth for that. So that was definitely an added bonus. And a lot better than your last comedy's experience. I mean, well, you didn't even get there. You were just in tears, weren't you? Yeah. Um, and suddenly, four years on, see, all good things are worth waiting for, huh? Yeah, definitely. It was obviously a massive disappointment. It was the biggest disappointment of my career, not making Commonwealth last time. And just really felt like I missed out when I was watching it on TV when them guys were there. And so this time, it was meant so much for me to go. And then, obviously, the team did so much better. Like, I think last time they got 23 medals. Yeah, this time, I think they got 34, 35 medals. Just absolutely nailed it, it was brilliant. And tell me about your, your experiences because obviously you know, people forget you know you are still a young girl uh, and uh, you've been around a bit around the world but uh, India was a, was a first for you and you know there were, there were a lot of problems and hurdles to clear it and pitfalls but you either get on with it don't you or you, or you, or you succumb. What, what were your sort of experiences? I, I, knowing you I sense you it was a bit of an eye-opener for you being out there. Yeah, it definitely was. Like, I had never been to India before, so I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. I'd heard mixed things from loads of different people. And going into it, we just kind of, like, I wasn't even thinking about kind of the rest of it. We were focused on our racing and everything, and kind of then we had this 40-minute bus journey to kind of have every take every day. So I spent a lot of time on the bus, which was kind of good because you got to see it. And every time we saw a monkey, everyone on the team got dead excited. It's like, oh my God, there's a monkey. And it's like, we've never seen one before, but we were so excited and loved the whole culture. But it was, it is obviously a very, very poor country. And none of us kind of expected that. Like usually you do have like your poor areas, you have poor areas everywhere. But there was just shocking the amount of poverty. It was kind of really kind of you did really feel privileged that we have we were in such a lucky situation and even though that's kind of what picked us all up like yeah some of us did have tummy issues or whatever but we got over it like you see what kind of them guys it's like stop moaning we've got we're living in it so perspective basically that's the word isn't it everything yeah. was placed in perspective yeah definitely you kind of just realized and just got on with it like you felt so lucky being out there and having a chance to do something that we all love to do and Kind of, we all had a job to do. We stayed focused on what we had, and that's why ever, that's why we had the best outcome we've ever had, is because everyone stayed focused and everyone wanted to do well. And I think the thing is as well, Becky, is that I mean, ideally, you want to go into any major meet and everything's perfect, but that's not always the case. So I guess the fact that I mean, you and everybody, and Fran, I mean, Fran was in a desperate state sometimes, but the fact that you all came through and, and did so well shows, I guess, Becky, that you know, whatever the problems may be, you just have to get over them. Yeah, definitely. I think like the, there's always something going on in every meet you've been to, whether it's the transport or something or food or whatever it is. But it's kind of like the whole point of going and having the games in India is to enjoy the Indian culture and enjoy the experience. And over there, the culture is very different. Like when I went to Japan, there was so everything was on time. It was like you had to be early for everything because it ran so efficiently. Yet, Indians aren't like that, their culture isn't like that, it's just kind of a lot more laid back and we all accepted it, it's like the whole point of being there is that you kind of experience that and I, we all didn't want to go there and it all be so western that it's kind of like being back home, you didn't want that, you wanted to experience everything and we got that but everyone put everything inside and really really did enjoy it, like some people were worse than others with the illness but we all have been trained the whole year for this, we weren't going to let a few tummy issues like stop us from what we want to do. No, exactly. Now, something happened with you in August in Budapest, and what I mean by that is, obviously, and we'll talk about this in, in a second, you get your two gold medals from Beijing, and although in swimming, people, the near the Olympics came, people were thinking, oh, hello, you know, Rebecca, Rebecca might just do this. To the outside world, you weren't that well known, then suddenly, bang! You are an overnight, um, like all these things, a seven year, 10 year overnight, but to the public, an overnight uh, success story. And then obviously you've got to deal with all that and, and the world's went, went fine, okay, but the public perception is you're supposed to win everything. Mm -hmm. And then obviously uh, the Europeans uh, in, in August, where well, you got nervous for goodness sake. 
uh, before your 800 meters. And then after that, you had a board meeting with yourself, didn't you, basically? And since then, um, we're only talking August, you won the 400 in the Europeans, you won the 400 in the Commonwealths, you won the 800 at the Commonwealths, and it's kind of back to business. Yeah, definitely. I think you've just pretty much summed it up there. But yeah, after the 800, I was just like, what am I doing? <laughs> it was just, I put so much pressure on myself and got so nervous for absolutely no reason at all. Like, when I'm putting that pressure on myself, I only let myself down when I then don't swim well. And it's like, you know, everyone else just wants the best of me. My parents and Bill, all included, they just want me to kind of be happy and swim the best I can. Despite what I come away with, as long as I've done my best, that's all that matters. Yet that wasn't my best. And I was so upset after that, at that 800. I was just like, this is awful. And then it took me two days. Like, I was really tired and really like, oh, take me home for like two days. And then the day, the night before the 400, something just changed. And I was like, up for it. And I just thoroughly enjoyed the 400 and just relaxed. I just enjoyed the experience like I did before Beijing. I didn't think about pressure. I just didn't think about anything. I just was like, right, let's just have fun. There's absolutely no pressure on me here. Let's just enjoy it. So I did. And that's what I did at Commonwealth last week as well. I enjoyed the experience. And when I do, I come, I come away swimming better. So obviously works for me. It obviously does. And again, you're proving the old adage about sport, which is it's really tough getting there. It's tougher staying there and you it's a learning process isn't it yeah definitely well especially in britain at the minute it's just so tough to make the the teams out because we've got so much depth amongst everyone that you can only take two two people every time so it's really really tough just to make the teams and i was nervous whether i'd even make the commies and then i finally did and it was such a relief but it is then tough when you are successful and you've experienced the goal because you want to experience it again and again so i guess like you've had that experience and that was what it was like in the 400 at commies because I had done the 800 the night before I'd win and then the next day I didn't think I'd win at all but I was just like I know I've experienced this now I want to experience what I did last night so I just went for it so I mean that's that's not it you're not just going to turn up and win every race because you've cracked it but you've cracked something at least haven't you you're going to try and sort of stifle the nerves from now on and yeah, definitely. Like, there's always going to be, pe be people like either catching you and wanting to beat you or doing whatever. Like, that's always going to be the case. Like, so there's always going to be someone there that's going to rival you. But I've at least come over and gone over this hurdle that I'm trying to at the minute, and the next one I'll try and get right for London as well, whatever that will be. But I definitely feel more confident off of Commonwealth and Europeans that I can move forward, and definitely looking forward to next year. definitely still say the 800s definitely the one I prefer and in London whether you win or not I think the crowd are gonna love it well no you don't know what's in there it's just I do not like the sea like you've swam at a home Olympics sharks do you have a shark phobia <laughs> yeah to be able to do that would be unbelievable any fish that touch you is <laughs>